This has got the fix and guide. Today we're dealing with the Valor Portrait Radiant Gas Fireplace that we're going to do a manual lighting on. So we're going to remove this bottom panel. It just comes right out. It's just held in there just by gravity. And these are the, this is the uh, valve assembly, the control unit. And we need to get the uh, glass front off so that we can do a manual lighting. So this is the instructions on how to move the glass front. There's just four things holding it on. Two little screws on the bottom. And these are lefty-loosey to loosen it. You can use a standard head screwdriver or just your fingers probably is enough. There's two of these screws at the bottom. And there's a couple of interesting spring-loaded clips at the top holding the glass in position. So first we're going to get these little guys off. Just spin them to the left. Don't worry about the spring. There we go. And now we're going to remove the front panel, this big front panel. We're just going to lift up a little bit. There's two clips that hold it on. So you just lift up by about a quarter inch and then pull it towards you. It'll come right off. And then here's these clips, one here on the left, one on the right. And what you do with these is you grab them and pull them towards you. And then you want to rotate them 180 degrees down out of the way. They're pretty hard to pull because they're spring loaded. So I'm using a pair of pliers to help me. I'm going to rotate this thing out of the way, just a, a 180 degree turn. I'll do the same on the other side, and then I can remove the glass. Once the glass is removed, you can get your lighter or matches in position for doing the manual lighting. This might be when your remote control is not working or your remote control is out of batteries and you just want to get it lit without the electronic ignition. So I'm moving the glass out of the way, and then I need to move a couple of these fake logs out of the way. So these are really lightweight. Just put, pull them out of the way. And in the lower left hand corner you'll see the burner assembly. Here's the instructions on how to do the manual lighting. If you want to pause it you can read through them. We'll talk about what's going to happen. And here's the burner assembly here to the left. We have the thermal coupler and we have a little spark ignition. And to light it manually, what we need to do is work on the valve controls a little bit. We want to make sure it's in the ARN position. We're going to turn this until it says manual, M-A-N. And that'll allow me to press in on a little piece there that lets the gas flow. Now the gas is flowing, I can take the lighter and light it. So I'm pressing in on that little guy to let the gas flow. And there's the pilot light. And then to control the, the heat, I'm going to turn this dial to auto instead of manual. And then I'll grab this dial on the left and turn it up toward the top. And that'll increase the amount of gas flow. And that'll make the, the flame stronger. There we go. So that's near full blast. And you can kind of move it back and forth until you get the heat where you want it. But this may get you um, some heat when you don't have uh, electricity for some reason or when your electronic ignition isn't working. And while you have it open, it's good to take a wire brush and just clean this burner assembly, the thermal coupler and the spark igniter. They get a little buildup of stuff over time, so cleaning it with a wire brush can help it once you are going to be using the electronic ignition. So these are really nice fireplaces and it's just a way to light it manually if you need to. Again, it might be you have a power outage or for some reason the electronic ignition isn't working. One of the reasons it may not be working is that this might be dirty. So cleaning this sometimes will get your electronic ignition working. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance.